What is happening everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Tonight we have an exciting unboxing to dig into. This was sent into the channel by Brian F over on YouTube. You can also find him on Instagram at bdig underscore 74. Brian F makes content on knives and EDC gear, but he also hand makes a variety of different items and because we just recently here at G-Ball Vision, we hit 4,000 subscribers. And Brian was kind enough to send some items in for a giveaway uh, that I will be having relatively soon once I get everything in that I intend to have. But... We have a brand new unboxing knife that is housed in it, it housed in its own storage area. This was sent into the channel by Keith the Knife Freak. I will link Brian and Keith's Instagrams down in the description. I will link their YouTubes down in the description. That way, if you see something in this box you like, you can hit up Brian on Instagram. And you can also hit up Keith, who is hand-making all kinds of different fixed blade knives, whether it's something like this that is made out of a chisel, or he is actually hand-making his own fixed blades as well. Uh, and if this is any sign of what he can do, you are in store for some phenomenal products. This was a chisel. He crowned the spine, uh, made it into a sheep's foot style of blade, put a nice edge on this thing. Uh, just incredible out of a chisel, guys. So hit up Keith if you are interested in getting yourself a handmade fixed blade. We are going to dig into this guy for the first time ever using our new unboxing knife. Now I am going into this thing upside down because there is information on the front that I just didn't cover up. So we'll just kind of have to wing it here. See if I can get in here this way. And it looks like we should be able to. I am excited to get into this thing. Uh, we'll put that back in its housing. So we are underneath. So Brian has been a huge supporter of G-Ball Vision, uh, of myself, of the channel for quite a while. Uh, and he is also sent some things in to be given away previously and we have a couple more things to add to that so we'll cover these first we'll move this guy out of the way which i am really excited about checking out so brian is also not only into knives and edc but he's also heavily into the gun world as well. And he actually makes his own earplugs out of 9mm casings. He calls them spent nines. Uh, and I have a pair that I, for myself, that I actually do use. Uh, actually, today I went out shooting and I tried these out and they work good. Uh, so he sent a couple of pairs of these to give away. Uh, one of each will be going in to the 4,000 subscriber giveaway. There will be two packages, uh, two winners. So each winner will get a pair of ear uh, protection. And then we will have two sets for a future giveaway. So that is fantastic brian wrote a little note here congrats on 4k brother hope this goes over good also here's some extra earplugs here's to 10k yeah thanks buddy i appreciate it man 
Uh, we might be dead and gone by the time I get there. So this is what I'm really excited about checking out. So Brian is a crafty gentleman, and he is putting together an incredible little set here, guys. Uh, when I saw these, I told him this is just incredible. Um, he actually, now he doesn't make the ferrocium rods, he buys the ferro rods, but he does all this finishing work. This is micarta in between these. He does all the cutting, all the sanding, uh, and these are replaceable rods. So say you were to use this one all up, you can actually send this back into Brian and he can reset you a new ferro rod. He has three different sizes. And I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is the small variant. So if you can imagine, there's a medium and then there's a large. And I'm guessing, you know, five to 8,000 strikes with this guy, maybe a little more, maybe eight to 10. And then I'm guessing the medium one might be like 15 or 20. And then some of the bigger ones, the large ones can be 30,000 strikes or more, uh, which is just that will last forever. Uh, you also get an included lanyard with this guy. Uh, I believe he's doing different colors of lanyards. I believe he's doing different materials as far as the wood and what the spacer he's using, micarta G10. Uh, so he's doing different looks on the woods and the different woods that he's using, I believe, and the different materials that he's using within those. Then he also offers a variety of different paracords. And then to seal the deal off, you are getting a nice striker here. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate this. Um, if you're interested in seeing that, you can look elsewhere on the channel or you can head over to my secondary channel, Dr. Prepper. And we will be doing some ferrocium rod fire, fire starting stuff over there in the near future. But, you know, in order to get this thing going, you scrape this black coating off and use this area here. And you will get yourself a nice set of sparks. This is a perfect start to a fire kit. Uh, this can be thrown in a pouch, thrown in a backpack, uh, put in the armrest of your vehicle, your truck. Uh, there is a ton of places that you should have a fire starting rod. It's one of the most important things that if you do not have and need, there's a possibility that you won't make it through uh, the situation you're in, whether you need heat, cooking food, whether you need light, whether you need to keep predators at bay, uh, whether you need to boil some water. Uh, fire starting is a massive, huge deal, if not maybe the biggest skill or the best skill to learn if you know nothing else fire starting and how to make a fire and get a fire going is just, it's paramount. It's something that everyone should do. And my guess is there are a limited amount of people across the country and across the world that could actually start a fire uh, basically from scratch using, you know, an implement other than a lighter. But it is a skill that is dying off and needs to basically come back to the forefront. Uh, so this is going in the first place giveaway. I hope I win the giveaway, to be honest with you, uh, because this is fantastic. Uh, anybody who knows me knows I'm, I love this kind of stuff. I love fire starters. I have, you know... 20 of them probably from different companies, different sizes, 
uh, different styles, all that sort of thing. I absolutely love these. And this nice big handle here will really aid in your grip because some of them are either there's no handle or let me actually. So right here on this Ned Foss fixed blade, which we will be testing, this comes with a ferrocium rod. And I have been testing this one out. You can see the, the coating, the protective coating is scraped there. I've been testing this knife and this ferro rod to see what it can do. And it looks like these are going to be similar in length, but you see the thickness difference there. Um, that's leading me to believe this could be like an eight to 10,000 where this is probably like a four or 5,000 strikes. Uh, the length and the thickness is where you're going to get more strikes. Uh, so they definitely get thicker than this. He offers a large and a medium. So definitely a good investment to have a couple different ferrocium rods and different ways to start fires uh, but you know like this no handle and it can still be done to strike the ferro rod and get a fire going but it will be a hell of a lot easier when you got this nice big handle to grab a hold of and get to work on this thing this thing is incredible dude and i I don't want to speak out of turn or speak out of line here. You can definitely get a hold of Brian over on his Instagram, which I'll link down below. I believe the small is 30, the medium is 40, and the large is 50. I believe that's what they are. Don't quote me on that, but I think that is the price. And guys, you might be saying $30. That seems like a little too much uh one thing is you can get on amazon and you can find some for 10 15 bucks you might be able to find a twin set for 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that um but they're gonna probably be of very low quality first off very low quality and second off they are more than likely not going to have any type of handle. These are good to have as backups or spares, something like that. But you need something that is more of a primary, you know, your go-to and stuff like this to back this up. If something were to happen to it, get lost, what have you. Um, the time that... Now, just with talking with Brian, it takes him quite a while to, from start to finish, to get this whole product done. So, you know, you're you're counting materials in there, striker, paracord, striker, paracord, your rod, and then the wood and the micarta and all the time that it takes to get the materials the way that the finished product is. So, you know, not only are you buying the materials, but you're buying the time that he spent on these. Uh, he's a great dude, you know, American dude. So these are American made, you know, and I see without a question, uh, $30 here, no question about it. Uh, a handmade ferro rod. This is basically all you would really need to get a ton of fires going. So it's an awesome little starter kit. And this is maybe like a bottle opener. Then you have like a little roller there. So they kind of throw some extra features on the striker. But this is a perfect little set to get you started. And I wish there was someone making these back when I first got into getting my fire starting equipment. Uh, I have tons of it, and I will probably end up getting one of these from Brian at some point. They are just fantastic. The fit and finish, uh, the quality, and then him being an awesome dude on top of all that. 
uh, it, it's well worth the price of admission to get one of these. That'll wrap it up, guys. Let me know how excited you are for the 4K giveaway. Let me know if you really want to win this Ferrisium Rod kit here. And let me know down in the comments if you are interested in buying one of these or getting one of these and or if you're interested in getting something from Keith as well. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. That'll wrap it up, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And if you're new to the channel or you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Because if you don't, you can't win shit. I will catch you guys on the next one.